So this man was convicted convicted of second degree murder, and I'm gonna go ahead and post the screenshots. He's running for Congress in the fifth congressional district of Maryland. Who did not? If you read the documents on that on on, on the website that Georgetown put up, you will find that those guys did not work for the moving company. The Robert White, specifically a registered sex offender, that had, was on cocaine when he entered my home, right? Had been arrested over twenty five times. Wow. Seven, you 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 just you just named off his convictions, you know. They lied about all of that. Now my lawyer was supposed to fight vigorously and bring that out, right? And didn't. And and he, you know, was a, he he did a terrible job. Let me say that. Oh, I would not have gone to prison. Yeah. That's, the evidence speaks for itself, right? And I said that. I said and that. So, and so now the newspaper, because they say, well, Keith Washington been fighting a long time, but. People who can read can go to this website right now, and I, I challenge you to post it. Go ahead and post it on your TikTok. You know Keith Washington's story: how this man had thirteen and a half years of his life stolen. And oh, uh, it's and, no yeah. question, sir. I will. It's no question tonight. You hear me tonight? Yes, sir. And I, and I will challenge, <laughs> challenge you to do one more thing. Look, okay. the state attorney, the current state attorney, Aisha Brayboy, she has the case on her desk with the same facts that you and I know. And everybody else knows, right? And so she's sitting on it. And so I would challenge the people who listen to your podcast to okay. call her office and say, why haven't you taken action in the Keith Washington case? Say well, her people, name again. Say it one I, more time. Aisha uh -huh. Brave Boy. B-R-A-V-E-B-O-Y. She's a state's attorney for Prince George's County. Okay. And call her office, bombard her office, and say, why haven't you taken action in this case, as a black woman who's duly elected to do justice. Well, we already know why. Well, I mean, in that county, right? That county courthouse wields tremendous power over the population, right? So you have five or six families typically run a county for, for in terms of legacy, wealth, opportunity, you know, uh, controlling the land issues, the banking issues, you know, in over 3,000 counties in America, right? So the state is supposed to oversee the, the, the conduct of people at the county level. That rarely happens, especially when we're the victims of any misgivings by that local county government agency.